this week on Instagram, I did a live on why girls are mean. And I shared the one major thing that I feel is a big contributing factor, how girls are socialized to be nice and kind. And oftentimes our girls don't know how to handle anger or frustration and solve conflicts in a healthy way in a relationship. They worry that if they say something that it will hurt the relationship and they allow these difficulties and hurt feelings to build and then they blow or use passive aggressive techniques to get back at other girls. And it becomes a cycle because we then have other girls who are frustrated, hurt, that are reacting. And not all of our girls know how to regulate their emotions in healthy ways. I was on a call earlier with one of my dear friends. I was sharing some different resources. So here are some books that you might want to check out. One of the books that is a really good one, it's The 12 Strategies That Will End Female Bullying. Girl Wars, and it's by Cheryl Delasega and Sharice Nixon. This book is great. This is an oldie, but a very good book. It really focuses on relational aggression. If you're not familiar with that term, relational aggression, it is where people use and manipulate someone's access to their peer group or their social connections. We see this happening in female relationships, but do not assume that mean girls is just unique to girls. It happens in boy relationships. This book is excellent. I highly recommend it if you can find it. You can see mine is old. It's yellowed. I have lots of different tags. At one of the schools I worked at, we did this as a mother-daughter book club. What's nice is there's a lot of shared stories from young girls that I think our girls can relate to. Next is No More Mean Girls by Katie Hurley. This book is geared for parents of girls ages 3 to 13. So if you have a young girl all the way up to age 13, this is a great resource. Katie does a great job in sharing information. You can see I like it. One piece that she has that I love, it's parent-teacher conference where it's a section specifically to help you start a conversation. A lot of you are probably familiar with the Mean Girls movie. Rosalind Wiseman is the author of Queen Bees and Wannabes. The movie is based on the book. This is the third edition. This is a great book. What I really like about it is how Rosalind shows the different social hierarchies that often are happening in groups. Your daughter might be experiencing some stressors. And I know in my conversation earlier with my friend, there's that social anxiety, wanting to be a part of a group, feeling that maybe you're being pushed out, that they're not spending as much time with you, that maybe they're getting out and doing activities and you're not invited. This really helps map out a lot of the different social hierarchies. And that can be very helpful as a parent. And the girls in the Brave Tribe really like looking at that. And they then can identify who some of the girls are in their different groups and understand why they're doing some of the behaviors and what they're getting out of that role and that behavior. So then moving on to books that might help your daughter. A lot of these are geared for my teen, but I would say my upper elementary are able to get. The first is the Teen Girls Bull Guide, 10 Tips for Making Friends, Avoiding Drama, and Coping with Social Stress. I like this one by Lucy Hemmen. I think that this has some great strategies. It's a good read for girls. There's lots of quizzes. Girls love quizzes. I think your daughter will like this. Another one for teens is Relationship Skills 101 for Teens, Your Guide to Dealing with Daily Drama, Stress, and Difficult Emotions Using DBT. This is by Sherry Van Duke. This also has different quizzes. So I think a lot of girls and guys would enjoy this one. And then another favorite that I've had is the Bullying Workbook for Teens, Activities to Help You Deal with Social Aggression and Cyberbullying. Rochelle Casada Lohman and Julia Taylor. Julia Taylor and I went to grad school together and she's always had really great resources. So when I see that she's put out a book, I usually like to get it. This one has things that your daughter or son can actually go through and journal, do activities. If you have a child that is dealing with social aggression, relational aggression, they're feeling left out and excluded. 
it's very difficult. And one thing that I want our parents to be aware of and to caution you is when talking with your children about this, really listen more than you talk, validate the emotions, listen to what your child is saying. Even repeating back what you hear can let them know that you're listening. When we start to give advice, they tune us out or we don't fully understand the inner workings and the different dynamics. We are giving advice that they feel will not work. We want to make sure that we're listening a lot And that we're asking questions or pointing out, wow, I can just tell that this has been weighing on you. And I just remember last week you were mentioning something that had gone on with the girls. And I just noticed that this really is bringing you down. What do you think you can do about this? Or what are you wanting to do about this? Opening up conversations to bring awareness of ongoing patterns and behaviors can be helpful for our girls. But when we say you need to stop being friends with so-and-so, our girls and our guys, they feel like we don't understand. And the reality is there's so many different dynamics going on in these social relationships. And there's a big fear of what will happen when they leave a group, if they branch out on their own. Will there be retribution? Will there be other things that will happen if they do that? So making sure that you have these conversations with your daughter, with your son, because it's not just mean girl behavior. If you have concerns and you're noticing this is really impacting your child and that it is something that's becoming more of a mental health concern, I do want you to reach out to people. Reaching out and talking with the school counselor can be helpful. Sending emails to some of the teachers to get a sense of what do they see in class. Reaching out to your pediatrician, seeing if you could get in and schedule an appointment, ruling out any medical issues. But then if there are recommendations they have for different therapists, someone that could actually see your kiddo, because we know that this can damage their self-esteem, their self-confidence, and it can lead to a whole host of other mental health concerns. And I know as a parent, that can feel very scary, but there's so much that we can do to address these concerns and to help empower your child and to help them move forward feeling more confident in their life. If you have a daughter that is in fifth to eighth grade, I have a program. It's an online virtual membership for girls in fifth to eighth grade called the Brave Girl Tribe. Last week and this week, we're talking all about relational aggression and how to deal with it and how to move forward. Some girls even feel like they really have no friends at school. So if your daughter is experiencing that, she is not alone. And this would be a great place for her to get some support, resources and tools and connection to move forward. We meet every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, but people do not have to attend the calls live. I record the calls, so if someone prefers to watch the recording, they can do that. I do a short and sweet video each week talking about the topics that we discuss in our call, and I make that into a podcast. So there's lots of ways to listen to the resources and participate with the resources And there's different tools that we've covered over the past three years. And it's very affordable. It's only $48. But I know $48 a month can actually be a hardship for some families. So if you can't afford this or you know of a family that would benefit from this, reach out because I have some lovely friends that sometimes will help sponsor someone. You to live like bravely sweet friends, you're doing an amazing job. And if you're watching this video, that truly is a sign that you care about your kids. And you're doing all that you can. Take care, sweet friends.